as I was saying, you have to factor in those benefits. If you don't factor it in, you're talking nonsense. And here's the thing, you take the juxtaposition off of the benefits, all you have left are the equalities. And simply put, Skylar, the equalities will not match up on a five-year basis. <laughs> They just won't. You look at a 10-year basis, you say, okay, maybe. We'll talk about it. You look at the five-year plan, and you think, that's not a stable basis. You have to I, be able to read the chart. You have to be you able to read the chart. And you need to know when, and I mean when, the torque of the equation is going to go on balance. That's, you need to know these things. The whole reason the five-year plan doesn't work with the juxtaposition it's because of the housing crisis. Let's go back. Let's rewind to 2008, okay? 2007, a lot of predictions were being made. A lot of predictions were being made. You know, Absolutely. the foreground behind it, not so clear. Not so clear. But you need to look at the bubble. You need to look at the big picture of the bubble. You have to look at the bubble. And the bubble, the bubble said, it's time for a, it's time for a bailout. So what happened? Let's let's take a look back at 2013. What happened in 2013 that represented these causes? Okay, and it it became very clear that the Democrats were up to no good. Now let's talk about that. Let's not let's not let's not bring up conspiracy theories. Now fast forward. Now fast forward. Now we're fast, fast forwarding forward. now. Okay, go ahead. Fast forward to 2016. Fast forward. I was just thinking about 2016. Go ahead. As you say, you talk about the bubble. Of course. Would you factor in the circumference of the bubble? Did you factor in the circumference? Well, let's yeah. not let's kind of let's not to go too far in trigonomics, Skylar. I mean, we're talking about the the bigger picture of of the final four. You know well, what I mean? I mean, too, talk, talk about too big to fail. You talk about I mean, when you talk about too big to fail, you talk about Merriam-Webster. Yeah. You talk about you, you, you talk about you talk about Breitbart. Of course. You, you know. These are and, these are uh, names that are, that are not going to go away anytime soon. And you think about that, and you say, okay, well, big names, big whoop. You know what I mean? So we need to talk about these up and comers as well. I mean, Facebook, up and comer, on a dominant scene. So we need to we need to factor that in. But go ahead. I mean, when you when you think about the information age, because you know, at the end of the industrial age, really, you know, the manual labor. Um, and then you, you talk about the transition, the transition to the into the information age, and these up and comers. We're talking Amazon, we're talking Bezos, you know, we're talking Gates, we're talking Buffett. And yeah. You, you think that these big names are just going to disappear? Well, look at the facts. Look at the statistics. Okay. You gotta look at the statistics. The hard evidence. Hey, hey, not to cut you off. I'm a numbers guy. You know, I'm a numbers guy. But you, you go back. Look. Not to rewind. Let's go back to 2007. What was Bill Gates doing that we all knew what was happening? Okay, he was floating on the juxtaposition. So let's just say for for a trendsetter that that was on an uprise. Okay, let's say that was an up, on the uprise. Okay, <laughs> let's just say the juxtaposition of the flowchart of Bill Gates was on the uprise. Okay, <laughs> fast forward to 2017. These ideas aren't going away anytime soon. The Democrats are pushing it like no tomorrow. It's like apple pie to cherry pie. 2017. We're on the uptrend, as everyone mm. knows. Mm. Mm. This sort of purple fiasco. Everyone was calling it, right? Everyone was calling it. Mm. And um, So you got to look at the big picture. The big bubble. The picture of the picture. bubble. But the flow map, you can't, you can't yeah. date back to the yeah. flow map of 2012 when that was only, right. when that was only right. juxtaposition of, of the Amazon Bezos, you know what I mean? So when you're, sure. when you're dating back to that, can you mm. really factor in those elements? I mean, mm, it's, it's definitely iffy. It's definitely iffy, but, but uh, uh, if you don't mind, let me take you back to 2003 here. Okay. Where we talk about the foundational okay. four. Wait, hold on. What? Yeah, hold on, hold on. My wife's talking to me. What? <laughs> are you guys like just talking about nothing? Am, are we talking about nothing? Excuse are we I'm talking on. about nothing? Never in my 14 years here at CNN, <laughs> never have I ever heard such a disrespectful <laughs> comment. I'm honestly blown away, flabbergasted. Listen, <laughs> listen. Yeah. Let's switch up the topic because we were obviously talking about the industrial age. Let's talk right. about let's talk about the new age of 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 uh, uh, brick and mortar. Smash. 
Of what's going? What's going on? You want to kick it off? I mean, <laughs> uh, the brick and mortar of the 2019. Yeah, for sure. Well, when we're talking about last year's brick and mortar, um, really for me, what you what you have to look at, and one one you know one of the key key ingredients is the violin plot. And when when you think of the violin plot as an alternative, oh, and, to the and let's let's box, let's. I mean, we have a, we have a lot of, we have a lot of viewers on here. The vi violin plot, uh, famous from uh, Marco da Vinci, uh, mm. famous mm. famous plot. You know, last generations. Anyway, I don't think I need to, need to explain more. Yeah, I think no, they're educated. A famous, a famous previous generations plot from Marco da Vinci. So, um, I mean, you should all get familiar with it. If you don't know now, I recommend looking back to. Uh, Article six, section. What was it? Was it two point eight? Was it two point eight that I'm 2 thinking of? Two point seven. Two point seven. Two point seven. Thank you. Two point seven. And when you look at the heat map, it kind of throws in a curveball that you wouldn't expect. But that's why you have to look at the data. You have to. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. And uh, if I if I may pick up from there, I mean, let's look at the let's look at what's actually happening. Okay. Mm. You see these big oil companies. Mm. Taking advantage of these s small penny stock bond owners, right? Right. And right. you see this sort of effect when they when they cash out and they make their exit. What Absolutely. what happens? And, and, what happens to those? And to the, to, sorry to cut you off, but to answer well, that question, you'd have to do a deep dive into the corporate synergy. It is it's really the only way that you could come out. You know, you gotta gotta incentivize. Um, of course. And, and, and I don't know, you really, really, it all, I mean, it all comes back to the juxtaposition. It all comes back to the juxtaposition. Right. It's really, a, it's really for full circle. It really is. And, and not to, not to be a bargain or anything, but we like that. We like that coming from the industry perspective. So let's not, well, tutor, course, right? let, I mean, let's I not, mean, we like that sort of consistency. Let's oh, talk no, about. Let's oh, of course, of course, our listeners are very interested. Um, let's talk about what's actually happening. You see, mm. you see these club owners, right, right, investing into their portfolios. Now, why is that? It could be for multiple reasons. It could be for future protection, privacy. It could mm. be for uh, nationality purposes. It could be for mm. overseas overseas diving it could be for <laughs> multiple multiple reasons it could be for multinational segregation although that's a bit of it it's a bit of an extreme let's not let's not front it's a bit of an a bit of an extreme but these but are extreme times these are extreme, extreme times utilizing non sequitur times and so i don't know man really really what it comes back to what it comes back to is the uh, I don't know. It's just malice at this time. It's just malice with the Democratic Party. It's malice with the Indians. Elaborate, elaborate. Well, um, let's see. If I were really to go into it, we'd have to we'd have to look at penny stocks. I mean, such as um, such as Epic Games. We'd have to look at penny stocks such as Nesquik. We'd have to look at uh, stocks, bonds. I mean, how much interest is being paid on these bonds? Of course. Uh, actually, we're we're uh, we're getting a call from a listener. We have KK before Eva. Uh, she's calling. Uh, ask. Uh, hit us with your question, Caitlin. What what yeah, is your? Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. You're on the air. What is your question? Uh, we'll do our absolute. We'll ask any question you want. We'll do our very best. Uh, actually, I'll actually take this question, Scott. We'll get the next one. Uh, uh, what is your question? And we'll do our best to answer. First, first, first time on the caller. First time on the caller. Yes, yes, we understand. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, no worries. No worries. You got you got any friends around? Is this fun for you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hit us hit us with that first question. Any question? You got two questions that we can answer. Um. So how does this? Um, generate income. That's a good question. Okay. Let's rewind for a second. Early 2019. <laughs> <laughs> well, Early. well, to answer that question, we really have to take you back to 2007. Two, we're going back to 2007. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and elaborate. Of course. Early 2007. You know, 
stable economy recession in the works mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. it's coming in nobody really knows when that juxtaposition is going to strike but, but yet I, yet yet I yet I dare say here we are right so to claim that we are on a rise of circumstance is beyond the picture you get an exploit game uh, an exploit game view and you think okay here we are generating income how is this going to be stable now the big picture is it's not that stable and everyone's thinking well if it's not stable let's move on let's find something stable let's well, let's increase I, budgeting I, if I can, if I can jump go in ahead here. i mean uh, go ahead yeah i can jump in here i'd recommend switching over your mutual fund into an exchange traded fund um, I mean, this will just really allow more liquidity, uh, fluidity with your money. But see, you know, you but see, I, I think you should really be careful with what you're spewing out to the, to the, to the listeners, Skylar. I mean, oh. uh, this is something, this is fragile. Families have crumbled under this, Skylar, since that bubble popped. But, but crumbled. We're talking, fixed in we're talking fixed interest. But that's not the point. That's so, not the point. Families are crumbling because of what you're saying, Skyler. Let's not turn this around into an into an eye popping, an eye popping. Listen, listen, listen. There's, no need to politicize it. There's no need to politicize it. In the current political state, there is enough division as is. So what I'm saying is that this is a defensive investment. That's what it is. You have to really break it down. We're talking shares. We're talking property. Property. My bad. And we're talking growth investments. But this is a defensive investment, and what I really think this caller should do is she should she should look at preferred stock. She should show some degree of ownership. Um, I mean, that's this is really what you need to do in today's day and age. I mean, if you would if you would kindly take her back to 2004 and elaborate, I think we could really. I mean, that. I just I no offense. I mean, you are my my blood and comrade, but it's like. Let's not take the stock market so seriously. Let's look at the dot-com crash. Jeff Bezos was under the ropes. I mean, come on. Let's take a moment, step back, get out of our comfort zone, and let's look at the bigger picture. Why are we generating this sort of income when there is no set values? This is what I've been saying. I've been saying this since 1987. When listen, I, I saw, I'm not gonna let you jump in. I'm not gonna let you jump in. I'm not gonna let you jump in. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's okay. That's okay. But here's the thing. 1987. 1987. 87. That's really what I need to tell you here. People are very aware of what I stand for on TV. I've heard more than 10,000 pitches, and truth be told, most of them were not worth my time. Whatever you pay attention to grows. That's what we need to take from today. 1987 there were multiple dot Listen, com Steve, nobody has a monopoly on good ideas nobody not even you not no one's you, saying that me. no one's saying that let's date back let me speak 1987 let's date back the legendary steve o'malley said it himself what do be done don't be it let done we stick to these words to this day that was 1987 he had an idea Okay, let's not drop that. That was, that was the agrarian age. That was the agrarian age. What is it? It's the information age now. Okay. You okay. Just completely skipped over the industrial age. I mean, my partners taught me that in order to create wealth, you need to pair up with people whose strengths compensate for my weaknesses. And that's what I've done. I mean, and take me back to marketing 101. I mean, come on. My university I mean, days taught me that. My university it's days taught me that. Seems like you've forgotten the fundamentals. Go ahead. It seems that you have forgotten the fundamentals. We need to go back to the juxtaposition. You always seem and let's to just let's wrap up this answer. What do, would you like to wrap up the answer for this young lady? I mean, in summary, um, it really it all comes back to the defensive investments, and uh, I mean that's really what you need to think. I'd say I'd say look at the exchange exchange traded funds is is probably the best advice that I could give you. Um, you know. It, it all dates back, and that's what the show's called. It all dates back to the juxtaposition. That, yeah, all dates so, back. Uh, all day, all dates back. All dates back coming that's out. That's one thing we can agree on. All, right? so <laughs> that's one thing we can we'll agree. go with it. I mean, all dates back coming out November 17th, 2020. I mean, put it there, man. Put it there, man. I mean, put it there. All dates back coming out November 17th, 2020. Coming out on audio and video. Apple, uh, iTunes, 
uh, Spotify, and we're actually coming out on, on Mixer with that as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, uh, we're going to have some more callers at, uh, right now. And uh, we're actually right, having so, uh, a quick – and we're, we're actually going to have an, a quick little ad break right now. Uh, Thank you. Um, um, uh, can we ready up? Me oh. these. Me, me, Comfortable, me, affordable me fabric. 